know I don't know if uh the inland empire is NorCal or if it's SoCal or if it's somewhere in between, but I know it's a uh, pretty prominent region in, in Cali. Mm-hmm. So uh, there's that. But anyway, guys, it's gonna be Captain Krupp versus Felix, the classic number one and number, or excuse me, number two and number three in the scene today. And uh, they're going toe to toe for our viewing pleasure here at Pure Smash number 19. This is Winter Semifinals, a best of five set. Falcon Violet. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say peep this one, bro. Peep in this their one. Pick, but Captain Krupp doesn't need the sweet spot on the downer. He doesn't need it because he can blow you up all the same. Exactly, bro. Pete, that is your just straight out of the go, like, voice line. Like, the moment it came out, Krupp was like, all right, go? Dang, say less. Yeah, I'm gonna take two spot. stocks in a row. Oh, my God. What hit sustained so far? 30 seconds in the match, and Felix is already down two stocks. Yeah, Captain Krupp, man, the last couple of games we had him on shoes are making monster performances. Those of you guys who just joined us, you picked a good time to do so. Exactly, look at this, the Krupp is on the loose, man, as you can clearly see here, and, uh, dang, it is quite the sight to see. Krupp is so far in Felix's head right now that he doesn't even care about giving up stage. He just wants the high clips now. Exactly, man, that's what, that's what I'm kind of starting to notice right now. Yeah, again, Felix fighting back in this thing, but it, it is looking all Krupp. Goes for the reverse, they probably try to snag out the uh, Falcon Dive. It's not going to connect, and uh, there's a dash that can take out that stock. Felix, you know, takes a stock. Uh, not completely out of this thing. A minute 20 has been super explosive. And Felix, again, knowing that their opponent is going to want to go low to try to snipe out that early stock. Um, I, again, I feel like there's a pattern going on between the, the way these guys are going to get back on stage. Yeah, it's starting oh. to look like it, but yeah, look at that. Still need to make it back on the stage as Felix will be going down on the first game. And uh, yeah, it looks like he's like really trying to show off the Byleth, but like, y'all just not giving him the chance, man. Let the Byleth shine. Let the Byleth go off on the beat, man. Y'all y'all just like shut them down. Now he's just got to go, who knows who, Palutena. It looks like, wow, okay, I actually wasn't expecting that one today. The free Run track, dog. There you go. Wait, let's run it then. All Attain versus Captain Falcon this time in round two of our winner semifinals here. So let's let's see how this plays out on PS2 once again. We'll see. We'll we'll, we'll get another stage uh, someday. Maybe next time. Right? Yeah. Maybe next time. Uh, you know, I'm I, again, again. The the green doesn't hurt my eyes all that bad, so we're we're doing just fine. But I mean, you put in next to like a Palutena green here, and it's like it's a little overwhelming after a while. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, Palutena. Speaking of overwhelming, he's a pretty overwhelming character as well. And then Krupp rocking again, the same color on his shirt too right now? Like, bro, come on, like, be getty. Nah. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, on top of that, Krupp's a pretty overwhelming uh, player, so... Ah, you know, there you it, go. It, it's, it's a mixture of strong styles here tonight. Yeah, a lot, a lot of strong emotions in this uh, second game here. And this Paul Tana is still gonna get caught with the down tilt on the roll get up option by Captain Krupp in order to take the first stock of game number two. Look at that, spacing himself just out of range for that neutral B. Actually, did not know what the spacing was for that, so I'm glad that I know that now, because I just straight up thought that was gonna hit him from there. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's finicky to say the least, but uh, if you can land it, 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 it can keep your opponent at bay quite nicely. But if not, sorry. Uh, if they're moving around too much, they, they, they might avoid it. Right. Here we go, look at these couple of up airs landing in sequence, but still, Felix able to push through with that dash attack. Dash attack part two coming in right now. Dash attack part three. Oh wait, no, that's back here. They kind of hit the same, but look at that. Nair getting on off stage. Another Nair attempt, but almost getting thwarted by that down here. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Felix in the force to block that. I actually was about to just actually get hit by that. Like if that was me. That's that's quite awesome, I gotta admit. I wouldn't even what, know what to like block there. that there. Look at that. Drag down Nair, and that's gonna be just enough. To bring us to a tight stock count, but look at that percent though. We still got a little bit of a ways to go here, Larry. Oh yes, oh yes. But again, uh, if anyone can bring it back, it is Felix. Felix hasn't activated just yet. Uh, we don't see the fox out. But again, you know, Paolo can do some work. Uh, if you get in there, you get a you know a couple of good options. That back air is really good for keeping opponents at bay because of the uh, you know invulnerability it offers. Right. Yeah. Look at this jab attack though in sequence, leading up to 163%. Look at 
Good Nair coming out from Felix. Oh, but only he went with the back oh. air. From I think Felix tried to, tried to air dodge out of that. Very possible. I would not doubt that. Yeah, so, I mean, again, the little known fact about air dodges, you think it stops all your momentum. It really doesn't. Nope. Um, Far from. What it does do is it basically erases your DI if you're doing it. Um, so even if you're air dodging in, you might still be going a little bit further out. Uh, so it's it's... Sometimes can save stocks, but sometimes it doesn't. So again, you need to be you need to be smart about it. Yeah, very hit or miss there. It looked like it was gonna be a miss there from Felix, but still running and getting up to 130%. You know what? You close out the stock right now, we might have a pretty adequate comeback in game. So but you know what? I said that loud. And being the commentator that I am, you know, the, the exact opposite has to happen. These are things that uh, happen to the commentator. So I apologize for that, uh, Felix. If you're watching this bot, I take full accountability for that. Um, you can message me and we can talk about this. I can compensate that somehow. I feel really bad for that. <laughs> I actually... Uh, yeah, don't yeah, worry man. so much, brother. That's gonna win. It's all good. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, not nonetheless, taking it to game three. And Captain Krupp, not slowing down, just, just absolutely running it right now. Yeah, not showing any so, signs of slowing down. This momentum is carrying on straight into game three on the same stage that we've seen 14 times in a row. And we are getting right into it. The neutral is starting out here pretty even. Uh, but it looks like Felix is starting to shake things up a little bit. Going for a lot more nares in neutral was surprising me. And I can't believe I'm saying this, Laird. It has actually been somewhat absent. Wouldn't you say so? In the, in the neutral, at least? Uh... I, I'd say so too. The thing is, I feel like Felix is trying to. Uh, there's a very obvious shift in tempo uh, between the past couple of games and now from Felix. Felix is trying to take it a little bit slower, a little bit more methodical. The problem is, when you're playing against Krupp, you really can't mm. afford to slow down too much because they will run over you like a train. Excuse me, exactly, like a train. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, my yep, goodness. You have to re grab. You're going to get down air spike. Yeah, the moment you regrab, bro, Captain, Captain Crump's just like, you got boost power on some F Zero and just goes straight in for the down air to close out the first off of this potential. Yeah, exactly, man. Come on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and there's oh. the smash. Felix stops bleeding a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Tying it right back up. Only a small deficit to make up for, and it's starting to look pretty even here at the same time, though. Captain Crook taking, immediately taking notice of this is already making some pretty dang big hits to bring it into his favor once again. 65 to 20 as of right now. Yeah, again, this is Palutena we're talking about. They could bring this thing back in an instant. And yeah, look at that. Just that. Already takes the percent lead. Goes for the spike, but it's not going to connect. I love the attempt, though. Yeah, really good attempts being made there. Good down throw into down air. Into side B on the other platform? What good awareness to be able to land a string like that up to 119%. But still, Captain Krupp is hanging on to this tied stock count and is showing no signs of letting it up now. Landing a soft hit back here on stage. Oh, and landing oh, a down air no. spike and bringing it to his favor once again. 119 on Captain Krupp, but still hanging on. We got ourselves a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Last dog situation, but potentially the last dog for Felix's winner's run. We'll have to see if he has anything in store to try and bring this into a next game situation, or if we might be getting a potentially run back in losers. It's all kind of up in the air right now as this uh, last dog rages on. It does. Again, Felix isn't out of this yet. Those can make the reverse 3-0, but Captain Krupp is making, making it look like it's not going to be happening so easily. No, yeah, and uh, you, you would be remiss to think it would happen easily against someone as a grace, as aggressive and as abrasive as Captain Crook can come off to be. Oh my god, he's sizing Felix up for the kill right now. Nair, not gonna get the knee after it. Not gonna get the uh, forward air, anything after that as well. So he's gonna have attack to give himself some room. He's gonna run up and shield the side B, or excuse me, the neutral B. Falcon Kick will not connect the strong spot. The downer is not gonna connect. You see a lot of whiffs coming up from, from Krupp, and, and mm, Felix trying is to wall him all out. there to capitalize that dash attack. Yeah, he's trying to wall him out with those areas like I saw, but look at that side B gonna be connecting at the ledge to completely negate the edge guard attempt. Good job landing back throw as well, and now Felix has oh, control that's of the dead. stage. Only enough yeah. be available to him, and that's gonna be the game there, landing an F smash to pull it out. Yeah. What? That was a really good turnaround. What did you say, sir? Yeah, that's still a lot more still a lot more to go though, brother. Oh yeah, no, I, I mean like quite a good turnaround in that game. You of course still have the rest of the set to look forward though. That's definitely true. And look at that. 
We have 100 stays to look forward to. Oh, Joey. Dude, it's Battlefield. We know how much Captain Krupp loves this stage with Falcon. Um, and it's not very difficult to see why their winning record here is absolutely staggering. Yeah, it, it has been. It's worth noting. Uh, I actually do the results here. Hold up myself. It's currently, from what I'm seeing on our uh, database, a 4-0 uh, set count in favor of Captain Crow. Yeah, so this is a very obvious bracket demon uh, there for Felix. Uh, but Felix is fighting their demons, taking a couple swings with the stake and the pitchforks, and making it look pretty, pretty good. Um, gets a gets a side B. Won't connect into the up air, but again, Felix is now trying to match and maybe even surpass Krupp's tempo on this mm. battlefield pick. Very much oh a my possibility God. here. And so far, still an even stock count. But you can see that upper is going to be landing. Almost landing into what could have been the string, but you can see Felix able to get that flat off home cancel off of the uh, teleport and able to take control. But still going to be able to tech against that reverse edge guard attempt. And yeah, dash tech is going to be taking the first stock of game four. Dude. I mean, that's not a move you see kill too often, but hey, I don't think Felix is complaining all that much. And they get, they get a last hit in there. Okay, so three nares, 32% on the board. Felix just going to keep this damage stacking up. Oh my god, and catches the fall through as well. That side B, so good. It covers so much. It's, it's a big thing. It's, it's You got to commit to it, though. Um, but if you have a read on where your opponent's going to be or where they're coming, throw it out there. You, you hit him with it. It's it's free, just a free bunch of damage. Possibly kills later on, too. Very possible here. We'll have to see how that progresses. His Falcon kick is going to be landing for 145% back here to catch the jump option. It's going to be exactly what Krupp needs to tie the stock count. And look at this deficit that uh, Krupp has to make up for. You know, it might not be... It's far from impossible for him to make up. Very feasible. But at the same time, it's also worth noting considering how slanted it was in his favor in this exact same matchup a couple games prior. I do see him starting to light up a little bit. And again... I Captain Krupp is so good at catching those uh, those two frames with his down airs, uh, but it's not something we've seen a lot this this set. Um, but once he gets the internal timing, the rhythm down pat, uh, it's gonna be really difficult for Felix to uh, recover safely. Very difficult. Oh my air God, one me. into forward aerial is exactly what Krupp and Krupp needs though in order to turn things around and bring Felix once again to a potential last block of the winner's run. The momentum has been all Felix this match, and that was the one opening that Krupp needed to take this thing back. What, 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 did, is that what I thought I saw? A parry mid jab string? I've seen I've seen crazier things. That was just kind of interesting, though. I wasn't expecting to see that. Very interesting interaction there. But check this out: up air and up air and up air and up air, leaping up to 66%. And Captain Krupp is closing oh, in. Oh, yup, do it again, baby. Exactly on a three to one finish. And bringing him straight into winner's finals against none other than Stradronic coming up in just a moment.